Hi, I'm Rachel Lynn, and I am on a journey to get out of my student loan debt and lose some weight along the way. If any of that interests you, go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below. Today is my July goals update, so I am updating my goals and seeing how I am achieving my goals, see if there's anything I need to adjust or change, and just kind of keeping myself on track. So stay tuned to see how I'm doing in all of my goals. At the beginning of this year, I set goals in seven different areas according to Dave Ramsey's goals. That includes family, career, social, intellectual, spiritual, physical, and financial. I'm going to recap what my goal was at the beginning of the year or whatever my new goal is and then let you know how that goal is going and if that needs to change in any way or um, just, you know, keep doing what I'm doing. So first of all, my family goal for the year was to spend more time with my family and last month I added on to make sure that I eat meals with my family and I have been meeting that goal and I'm doing great with that. For my career goal, I set two different goals. One was for school. I am a teacher. And then I also set another goal for here on YouTube because that is um, something that I am working towards and achieving. And while it's not exactly a job, I am now getting paid for it. So it does kind of fall under the career. Really more or less because I don't really know where else to fit YouTube <laughs> other than career. So my school goal was to be more efficient at school. Well, it's now summer and I am in transition. I am looking for another teaching job and hopefully to start in August. And so that is currently my goal. I, I guess I can't really be any more or less efficient if I'm not in school. And then as far as finding a job, I am currently looking and I look every single day. There haven't been a lot of open positions to apply for, but it is something that I do every day. For here on YouTube, my goal at the beginning of the year was to reach 1,000 subscribers and get 4,000 hours of watch time in order to be monetized. My channel was monetized in May, like towards the end of May or middle of May, somewhere in there. So I have met those goals and those thresholds. And now I am working on 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And I'd also like to get actually my first check from YouTube. You have to make at least $100 before you are paid out from Google AdSense. And so I have not made that yet. And so that's kind of like my goal is to actually start getting a check from Google AdSense or at least get a check by the end of the year. According to what I've made like in my first month here on YouTube, which I do plan on doing a video on that soon, um, I'm on track to getting my first check by the end of the year. Um, as far as subscriber count, I currently have 1,050 subscribers, give or take, um, depending on, you know, if I gain or lose some before this video goes up. I feel like my subscriber count has really stalled lately and I don't really know why that is. I don't know if I'm putting out content that people are not enjoying or if I have a lot of really, really old subscribers that maybe they've been automatically desubbed because maybe their accounts don't exist anymore because I have had YouTube and I have been making videos here on YouTube for a very long time since 2013 and um, so there could be uh, several people that subscribed to my channel way back um, in 2013 2014 and maybe their channels don't exist anymore I'm not really sure so my my subscriber account has just kind of like plateaued for right now so um, it's either that or maybe my content is not what people want to see or maybe you do want to see it it's just my journey has kind of stalled both for debt payoff as well as my weight loss I'm just kind of like plateaued in those areas as well and maybe people aren't wanting to see the struggles and and you know the the hills and the valleys whichever way you want to call it of you know my debt free or weight loss journey I don't want to shy away from showing the hard things and showing the struggles because I, I feel like that's really, really important. Um, I want to show myself getting through that and I can't show myself getting over those struggles without showing the struggle itself. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but um, that's just kind of my thoughts on what's going on with that. But I'm just going to kind of keep doing what I'm doing and um, hopefully uh, things will pick back up here on YouTube and I do plan on, 
you know, putting forth a lot more effort in certain content areas um, just because I do have more time since it is the summer and there's more time to think and, and work on certain things. Whereas when school is in session and I'm teaching, there's a lot less time to devote. So that's what I'm going to work on. For my spiritual goal, I give money to my church and I'm continuing to do that. I might have to push pause on that while I am in bare bones budget mode, but I'm not 100% sure I'm going to do that yet because that is something that is very important to me is to, to give to my church. I also have another spiritual goal that I do keep private because I do feel like that is very personal to me, but it is something else that I am achieving. For my social goal, that is to meet with a friend at least once a month, and that could be in person, on the phone, it could be a Google Hangout, it could be any of those things. This last month, I met with my friend Jenny several times. Um, we almost met once a week, but there were a couple times I don't think that we could meet, but um, it was really, really close, and we got together many times. However, a couple of months ago, I did not meet with a friend, and so I made a goal to actually make a, an effort to call a friend. I didn't do that last month, I didn't do it this month, and I even had a friend call me towards the end of the month, and I couldn't talk at that time, and then I never called her back. So um, I need to call her and talk to her on the phone. And then I have another friend that I haven't talked to in quite a long time. And I really feel like I need to talk to her too. So um, this coming month in the month of July, I need to make two phone calls. One, I need to call my friend back. And then the other one, I need to like, I just need to call her in the first place. And um, so that is my goal going into July. Uh, and then I do have plans to meet up with some friends in um, Northern Kentucky and we're planning on having a girls night and then I'll probably meet up with with Jenny a few more times she's one of my best friends from high school and so I know that we'll meet up probably a couple times in July as well for my intellectual goal that is to read one book a month I mean there's no restrictions on it it can be any kind of book I knocked it out of the park here in June just because I have got more time and I one of my side hustles is working at Churchill Downs and I don't always work I can go and try and work and I sit and I wait to see if they need more people and while I'm sitting and waiting I read a book and so I really knocked it out of the park with reading this month last month I was about halfway through a man called Ove and I loved it really really good book highly recommend it so I did finish that one I'm also about halfway through listening to East of Eden um, this is a very very long book if I had to read this book like in person I don't know that I would get this far it's a, it's very very long and um, I'm enjoying it but I, I probably would have put it down and picked something else up had I been reading it myself. Um, so listening to it every time I'm in the car is very, very helpful. I've started doing that with more classics and things that like I've always wanted to get around to, but I never really get to. And listening to it in the car is like forced reading because I mean, I'm in the car and um, every time I'm in the car alone, I listen to a book. So um, it's been really helpful in listening to books and I am really enjoying the book, but it's just like I know that I wouldn't get to it if I were reading it as a book form. I also have to say along with that, I have not been um, in my car as much. So that's kind of why that's slowed down a little bit. I'm not in my car very much. So, but I am still working on it. I still have some renewals left in the library. So I'm going to have to use those, but um, I'll get through it. I'm, I'm a little over halfway, so I'm getting there. I mean, it's 25 hours of reading, 22 desks, 25 hours of reading. <laughs> It's very long. I also read a teen trilogy series. The books were Hex Hall, Demon Glass, and Spellbound. I mean, it's like a whole trilogy, so that's three books right there that I read. It is a teen series, but I've always kind of liked, I guess, like teen series books and stuff like that. It is like a supernatural kind of series, and I like the fantasy supernatural genre. So it's, to me, it was kind of like a cross between Harry Potter, Twilight, and The Princess Diaries, um, the book versions, not um, the movie versions. But that's kind of, that's kind of what I feel like it's like. So if you've read any or all of those, then you could kind of get a feel for what this series would be like. For my physical goals, that is weight loss. My goal is to lose at least 50 or 56 pounds this year so that I could be under 200 pounds by the end of the year. Currently, I weigh 235 pounds. That is a gain actually from last month of two pounds. So I'm not heading in the right direction this month. I'm not happy about this. And so I have to do something 
to, to change that. I need to do better with eating and checking my food. I need to exercise more regularly. I feel like I kind of like go hard for a week and then I just kind of stop. And then I go hard for a week and then I stop. And I need to be more consistent about my exercise. My original goal was to exercise 30 minutes five times a week. And so like I said, the first week of June I did seven days and then there were two weeks in there that I exercised like one or two days and then I did like five or six days of exercise and so it's just been very inconsistent and I need to be more consistent with that. I also had a goal of doing a 5k once a month. I did my June 5k and then I also have a goal of doing a 10k by the end of the year. I feel like I could probably do a 10k at this point. I would have to walk pretty much all of it, most of it, but I feel like I could do one at this point. Um, I am going to wait till later in the year to where hopefully I have trained enough and um, can actually run all of it, if not most of it. I also have a goal to beat my mileage that I walk or run each month from the month before. Well, in June, like going into my June goals in May, I did not beat April's mileage. For June, I wanted to beat April's mileage because I didn't meet it in, April, in May. In April, I went just over 45 miles in the month, and this month I went 38.66 miles. So I didn't quite meet that goal, but I did beat the number of miles that I did in May. Now that's really only a few miles off, and I kind of feel like that's two or three days of exercise that had I actually walked or ran or even just walked for 30 minutes two or three of those days I would have met that goal so I feel like that was really really close I didn't meet that goal but I've been kind of telling myself lately like just because I don't meet my goal doesn't mean that I failed so I feel like I just need to keep going keep trying and don't give up because I have not completely failed until I give up even with my weight gain this month, I have still lost over 20 pounds for the year all altogether. And then finally, for my financial goal, that is to pay $20,000 towards my student loans by the end of the year. I did kind of up that to hopefully do at least $25,000 by the end of the year. However, I think I've kind of lowered that back down to $20,000 since I am in transition with jobs and, and you know, um, my income situation is a little bit uncertain right now. I'm still shooting for $20,000 by the end of the year. In order to reach that goal, I have to find a job and hopefully I can find one that pays more than what I would have been paid if I'd stayed at my last job. And I have to find one as soon as possible so that I don't deplete my savings and all of the money that I have in savings can go towards debt. So with that being said, in the month of June, I put $110 towards debt. It's not a lot but it's my minimum payment on my student loans. So in total, I have now put $7,760, give or take some cents, <laughs> um, towards debt this year. If I was not transitioning jobs, I actually would have put like over $13,000 towards debt at this point, which I think is a huge thing. So I do have that extra money sitting there ready, waiting to go towards debt it just can't go there yet until I have income secured. So I would love to know from you, what are some goals that you have set for yourself this year? And if you have not already done so, go ahead and set some goals now and leave me a comment down below and let me know what your goals are and how you're doing. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you are not already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.